I will fight with honor. You asked for it. If I play the friendly bartender this turn, I'll have to fire blast next turn. Now I can use the friendly bartender. I can just go into aberrant berserker. So my initial instinct was to fire blast the mistress. However, I plan to use the bartender to kill off that garrison commander, and then lead into berserker. I already just played a one-one, which is pretty inconvenient for me. It means I'm going to have to spend turn 4 only using Fire Blast, probably. I suppose on the bright side, I didn't really have anything to do on turn 5, so I can play Aberrant Berserker then. I also could have taken the tempo play to uh, just kill that and play the Aberrant Berserker. But, given that I didn't really have much to do on turn 5, I was okay with not doing anything else. Get in my belly. painful. Fire Blast has to be right, right? And then I guess I'm copying a 3-5. He's getting a lot of value over time. But the good news is that I have Arch Thief for Fawn in this uh, iteration. He has so many cards in his hand that it turns out that playing Azure Drake is probably a bad play for him. So, that's not too bad. The only thing I have to watch out for Azure Drake Consecration. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Alright, so I'll make the assumption that there's a Noble Sacrifice in there first. Though there is not always a Noble Sacrifice there. Womp womp. And I'll use the Kooky Chemist here. Yeah. That should be right. I've actually never seen that happen. It's pretty interesting. So you can have it returned to your hand and get redeemed. I mean, that makes sense. Four one is too valuable to let die to the one one, so I didn't play Arch Thief first one. I'll probably almost always play it next turn. This is a big board. We'll see what kind of answer he has. I know he has an Azure Drake in his hand, and he has a Inch. No, he just played it. Just an Azure Drake in his hand. Try this. Follow the rules. 
Wow. Morgan and Greaser countered hard. The Doom Mirror. Alright, uh, let's hope uh, Reform carried me here. if he doesn't have a fast answer but he has so many cards that it would be difficult for him not to have a fast answer I do have an answer to the taunt uh, it means I have 16 damage he doesn't have consecration in his hand otherwise he would have wiped me out so all I need is one damage that's one damage that's pretty good Two, four. We can even gamble first. Wanted, dead or alive. All right. Arch Thief for Falm single-handedly carrying a few games. I wonder if I keep Arch Thief for Falm in my hand here. Hmm. It is, uh, it is tempting to do so, not going to lie. Could do that. I play Arch Thief for Flum and then I win. It's like clearly the best card in my deck. Not with this hand. And then the three drop is better later. Okay, that's playable. That's uh, it's a two mana three two. Uh, if he has deal one damage, I'm going to have a bad time. That is deal one damage. I have to fireball this guy probably. Fall a bit further behind on the tempo. Alternative plays. I want a play that doesn't put me behind. Does that exist? No. take a bit of damage this turn. Uh, Polymorph Boar is good on the 6-6, six, six, but it's not good enough. This is a really slow play, but it might be the start of a comeback. Maybe. It seems like in order to make a comeback, I have to get a 5-5 five, five on the board. And that Twilight Flame Caller will hopefully uh, get a good amount of stuff. I'm probably not going to get the health from that either, since I plan on boring it. Corrupted Seer. Pretty solid here. Can't attack first. Or can attack first, but it would be bad to have a 5-3 against the 3-1. Okay, so it looks like I will gain the health back. So, gaining 8 back means after I get set down to 7 here, I'll be at 15. Which is a pretty good spot to be in. Uh, thank you to the Seer.
is 8 damage, so I possibly don't die here. Do we live on hopes and dreams, or do I want to take the guaranteed clear? If I take the guaranteed clear, I'm going to be uh, too far behind to catch back up, I think. Eh, maybe not. He only has 3 cards left. I go Power of the Wild, I Polymorph Boar, send it in, I'm at 18. Get to play a Mistress on the board. I'm at 22, kind of. And I have like a Valdir at the end. Alright, we'll do the fast play here. 2-2 two, two with the heal seems to be better than the 3-2. Trust me. It was like 5 mana deal 4 damage. Use 2 cards. Pretty bad. This only works on the simple minded. So I can deal uh, two damage to a thing next turn and get the raider out. Hmm. So I hope the three cards in his hand are small. I'm not ready. Not too big. You smell like a leopard, no. Hmm. That's kind of scary. I enjoy raiding. I almost killed the 4-4 four four instead of the 5-4 there. Uh, correct Fire Blast though? No, the Fire Blast might have been better on the 2-3. Oh! Oh man! Fifteen perfectly. Exactly those two cards. Blah 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 blah. Can I light your fire? Oh. Well, that was a very good draw though. I didn't see very many good trades, like hitting the three two means the 2-1 goes to the 2-2. Two, two. Hitting the 2-1 means the 3-2 like goes in the 2-2 two, two or my face, whatever. Hitting the 9-8, well I mean 9-8 is already probably killing an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, either way. And I think I outreached the 3-2 if it decides to hit my face. So that's how I concluded hitting the face was the place. So I'm gonna deal uh, 11 damage with Fire Blast plus Valdir Raider. Kooky Chemist. That thing probably wants to get reduced to a 2-3. Or even better, a 1-3. Oh, Alright, and I have, uh, 17. Wait, I have 17? No, no, I have 7. Wait, you don't have 17? I need to fire blast his face! Well played. Well played. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. What is he at? Was he at 16? Wasn't he at 18? He was at 18. Pretty solid hand. I think if I had the one, two, three, I would keep Archthief for fun. Yeah, I definitely would. Hey, 
face, 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 face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yes! <laughs> Nothing. Dead or alive. The girl survived. More training? I know a guy. It's a pretty good discovery. Don't I mean, worry, pretty good spell. Pompous Thespian. Okay. Hunter Miracle. Cooking time. Draw. High tide. Womp womp. Well, you got completely owned by spreading madness doing nothing there. Drawn the mistress of mixtures a lot. That's pretty good. Pretty good. An arch thief for farm is here to carry me in the late game. I have not seen Flame Waker very often in this arena. Could be pretty good here. I do have the coin. Decent chance I'm just gonna play it as a 2 4. Hmm, yes. Though it is very tempting to use the coin here. I think saving the coin is good because I can do something like I can coin out Rafam. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Or I can do something like Twilight Flame Caller, Coin Fire Blast this next turn. Basically, Coin can can become bad arcane missiles right now, uh, which I think is not quite good enough. I thought about coining the Summoner, but uh, I want the best of both worlds: get the Flame Waker out and be able to shoot off missiles with it with the coin. That's that's good enough for me too. That's, uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's some respect. Oh man, he's about to get wiped out. Uh... Ooh, that's even better. Wow. Faceless Shambler got buffed. 5, 7, 11, 17, 18 damage to face. Wait, I have lethal. 5, 7, 9, 11, uh, plus 4, 15, 21. Holy cow. Cooking time. More training. Cooking time. You just got tempo mage, son. Offer to the face.
if I have to pull a 24 hour, four hour arena stream in order to get all the arena runs done, sure, I'll do that. But I don't expect I'll have to. This is only my fifth run, and I do have to get 30, and it is halfway through the month, and I'm only one sixth through. And yes, I am going to South by Southwest, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you're probably watching while I'm attending South by Southwest uh, Hearthstone tournament. And yes, I'm going to the Bahamas, uh, which is another week too. Uh, it's a very busy month for travel. That said, I'll still get the 30 runs done. It does mean I have to do about three runs uh, a day, usually. Alright, that's fine. I'll probably go, uh, Flame Waker Coin, Blowgill Sniper. Wanted. Dead or alive. Good card. Interesting. I think it's correct to trade into the 3-2 and then play my own snake here. Draw. Yeah. This gets, uh, max value out of both of these cards, I think. It's too risky to try to do the Flame Waker coin blowgill. That's insane. I'd have to hit 3 out of 3. Or 2 out of 2. Twilight Flame Seer would be good, but so is that one. I am uh, getting the heart of the cards here. This uh, Corrupted Seer has saved me twice now. Oh, Twilight Flame Caller, you're here to save me too. Can I light your fire? I like that name for this card, it's the Call of the Kitchen. Uh, other than the fact that, well, only the teapot is really a kitchen utensil. But, it's a clever name still. Unleash the utensils. Guy is so good against Ali Armorsmith. I enjoy reading. I serve the fire lord. Huh. Do I dare? Even in the worst case, I'll be able to kill them all. With the Starfire instead of the Fireball. Runs out on me. Hmm. Yeah, it's really close actually. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay. Never lucky. I enjoy Alright. The luck is back, yay. So some people are wondering why I even did Starfire over Fireball. I mean it's more mana efficient. It gets the situation to where it's perfect to get a, uh... It's a perfect situation for Flame Color. I'd say if you don't Starfire there, you're not taking enough risks in your game. And here's an example of where I think I don't need to take a risk. Well... 
Yeah, let's go face, actually. The earlier you draw the card also, the more likely you are to have a more proper answer for the future. And also, as you can see, even in the worst case situation, I was still able to clear off the guy. I don't think I should have Fire Blast the Polluted Hoarder here. Uh, it does make a difference. Because in some worlds, Polluted Hoarder just goes ahead and kills this, and the Fire Blast is worthless. And in some worlds, I'm just Fire Blasting that this turn anyways. It does allow me to get some flexibility, like, for example, here, if I had Fire Blast that, I could Fire Blast this, but overall, on the whole, I think this is fine. In fact, it works out better. Uh, it doesn't work out better, but it works out here. It'll work out. Monsters! All right, final boss. Whew. Like this, this arena run could have ended at six, but it didn't. Hmm, Tidehunter should be better than uh, Bartender against the Priest. And then do I want to keep Summoner? Nah. I mean, it's a good 4-drop for me to play, but... Oh, and also I'm only up against Priest, who, I put, who has Potion of Madness. It's uh, a bit more scary. So yeah, this, uh, I think it was around 5 or 6 wins, or even 7 wins. I had very scary games, and the run could have ended there. But instead I get a chance to get the 12-win dream. So, let's do it. I have a lot of cards that are bad against Potion of Madness. Uh, Emperor Cobra, Twilight Summoner, uh, this is, uh, uh, at least that's diffused now, so that's, that's good for me. Unless he has more potion than madnesses. Uh, Sleep of the Fishes, that's actually good. Oh, combo, combo combo, that's really good. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. I thought about playing Worgen Greaser for a moment because if he hits the spell uh, slinger and then he heals, he's gonna set his guy to 3 health. Oh, dang. I have some pretty bad minions in my deck, so that's unfortunate that it got a good one for him. I'm pretty convinced that. Other than Arch Thief or Fom, that is the worst possibility. But it's still like 4 mana for a 4 mana card, so... My deck just happens to be um, really bad to mind games, but he got the second best outcome. Yikes. On 7 mana I can uh, clear his stuff. I think this is a good turn to Moat Lurker. Draw. Well, it would it would be like a Frost Element. It would basically be a Frost Elemental. This is not a great turn to Moat Lurker. I think it's a good turn to Cobra. Cobra Fire Blast, maybe. We're gonna understate our hand. I think I saw trade. I'll trade, fine. I, I wanted to go greedy, like fire blast the 5-5 five five and then send the spell slinger to the face, but I think this is best. It, it is tempting to bait, but uh, I thought about all the circumstances where my bait would fail, and those did not look pretty when the bait fails. Interesting. I'm uh, one mana short, or I'm one fire blast away from being able to kill all of it. I think I should still do it. Yep. Unless I bait him here. Bait might not be terrible. I, wonder. I could actually consider something along the lines of just flame caller maiden. Yeah, that seems good. Can I light your fire? 
I'm gonna need even more value in order to win this game. That's what I declare. It'd be really good to be able to uh, moat lurker that thing and then not have it die. I don't currently have the mana to pull that off. I think I'm just playing Corrupted Seer here. Take this blade. Still just looking for more value. And I have a deal four to all combo, and I can deal one extra to one, but currently not good enough. The problem with eating the five knives is just gonna come back. Uh, same problem as always. So I think it's good to kooky this. And then we face the shambler. We need him to commit more stuff on the board. Uh, like, given this hand, the Moat Lurker has to be the final card I play, and then he can't have an answer to it. What is in Moon's Drink with me, friend. Suppose he gets his 5-9 back. I'm dealing 4 damage with a combo, and then I have a 2-3 out. So that's 6, and then that's 7 with a Fire Blast. I'm going to just have to rely on my minions to activate Slip with the Fishes. And also, I do still have the Brewmaster in the deck, which can uh, do stuff. Hmm. This document looks legally binding. We could actually Moat Lurker with this. That's looking pretty good right now. Moat Lurkering his stuff is temporary, but yeah, yeah. There we go. As much value as I could have out of that. Uh, he still has five cards though, which is a problem. Just act natural. Oh my gosh, he could have Defias cleaned my guy. Why didn't he play that instead? Or did he just top deck it? I don't know. I enjoy Love and three is pretty good for this deck. It's not over. It's also not over, I should say. Now, what am I looking for here? Hmm. Arch Thief or Fom or Burn. Not that one. Oh, here we go! Saved! RC for Flum, are you gonna carry me in the last game? Give me a quest. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! No! 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 Depart, foul creature! Mm. 
We have many secrets. Well, the good news is at least I killed that, uh... The fire's cleaner, otherwise I would've gotten cleaned up by him. Oof. The rest of my deck is pretty terrible, so I don't see myself winning from here. Well, it was a good run. Fireball the Defias over playing the mirror. Uh, that would have been an interesting one. And it certainly would have been better against Dragonfire Potion, that's true. You could have had Dragonfire or Excavated. Maybe that line is good. The 10 10 Latin of power was too uh, ambitious, though, I'd say. Anyways, 11 wins, that's good. But we should always strive to like look at it and see if we can do even better.